Jack, I want to thank you for coming to camp. My name is Thad Johnson with ABC, and I'll be doing uh, your pitching lesson here today. Talk about a couple things. We're going to talk about your balance position, a um, little bit about your front side at the uh, the loaded position, which is when your when your right foot hits the ground, and then your finish, okay, and, and your release through the baseball, and just kind of more or less your follow through. So. Right off the bat, as you approach your balance position, I want to I want to point out uh, just just one thing here um, is is your foot placement. Okay, with your right foot, that initial foot, and I just drew a line. We're kind of stepping back, well behind the rubber. What I'd like to see is I'd like you to I'd like you to see, and your legs in the way here, but I'd like you to see you you know step a little bit more off to the side. Okay, where this X is. And the reason being is it's going to allow you to get into a balanced position, position just a little bit cleaner. So with what you're doing right now, and, and I'll show you why here in a few seconds, is as we lift up, okay, all your weight's behind the rubber right now, and you're dropping your left foot in, we're dropping your, your post foot in, into in front of the rubber, which is, which is exactly what you need to do. Now your weight's going from the back, and you really look tied up right here. So the goal is to get to a balance point and stay over this back leg over this back leg as long as long as possible and up to the point where you you break your hands so as you can see you, we going forward we're lifting 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 and now our hands are still together and we've and we've drifted slightly forward so what I what I again what I would I would consider doing is just stepping as opposed to stepping directly behind the rubber on that initial take on that initial movement. Just step just off to the side a little bit. You're not going to have to go around your leg to lift to the balance position. Um, but at the at the top of the delivery, okay, at the top of the delivery, you look you look pretty strong. Your your position, you know, you do a pretty good job of really trying to keep keep your weight back. And the one one thing you do to protect it is you really you really just lean back on your whole your whole top half is kind of your whole top half is kind of lean back okay just to just to help you keep it's kind of just one of those things that um, you've learned to do and you probably haven't even thought about doing it but it's just your body and your brain working to do everything you possibly can to keep your weight back so so that's that's one thing you're gonna continue to continue to do all right but you know, let's let's go ahead in that balance position. Just go ahead and let's get to the top of the delivery before we even decide to go forward. And that's just going to take practice. You do it in front of a mirror. Um, you can get to a balance position with your eyes closed. It really you really feel a lot of that imbalance involved in that in that actual in the movement. Okay, and and you'll be able to. Uh, the more you do it with your eyes closed and really feel the different body parts working, the easier it's going to be for you to do it with your eyes open. So we'll move on here. We're going to move on to the directional part. And as we as we fall forward and we, we start to make our way towards home plate, all right, your feet your feet seem to be in line. You do a good job of opening up your front foot at at uh, at foot strike, and you look like we're going in line. One one thing I'd like to see you do is to get that glove up a little bit higher. All right, let's let's get it up up to about right here. And you can turn it in, okay, so you're looking inside your glove. I'd like to see you turn it in so you're looking inside your glove. It's going to firm up your front side a little bit, and then you're going to bring that glove and your chest together as you rotate. So it'll just give you a checkpoint. Um, this right here is called the loaded position, all right? And you can do a lot of things out of this position to practice, you know, keeping your weight back. You can do a weight transfer drill where you, you basically we're transferring our weight back, and then we transfer it forward while keeping our weight on the ground and releasing the baseball okay but it's it's just a, like a weight transfer drill put your feet in that loaded position right there put your feet in the loaded position let's see about right there and just shift your weight back and forward break your hands and release the baseball get your glove up okay and work through that front side you really want to work through that front side so you stay on line with the pitch and so as we move on as we move on we get to the we get to the release of the baseball, and again, you can see just a you can see that glove. Okay, the the glove right here is just kind of flopping off to the side. And what I'd like to see is I, I'd like to see it again be be somewhere up in the the area of your chest right here. 
just just to feel that that firm front side. You know, easy adjustment, but again, you're gonna have to practice, practice, practice. Do it in front of a mirror so you can see what it looks like, you can remember what it looks like, and then eventually your body will start feeling it. So as we release, now we're gonna we're gonna move into move into the finish, the follow through. Okay, you do a good job up until the release. Now what you what you have right here is you stop your arm. Okay, and we'll play we'll play the next one out, and I want you to watch the finish and just watch the the dramatic. You hit the brakes with your left arm and you just stop it and pull it back. And and what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen with that is that eventually. You're going to get bigger and stronger. Your arm's going to start working a lot faster, okay? And that, that will lead to injury down the road, okay? So we release the baseball. And this is, we're going to, I'm just going to talk about the, we're going to release the baseball. We got this long arm right here, all right? It's moving at, it's moving at a high velocity, all right? The, the finish point, ideally the finish point for that hand and that wrist and that forearm is going to be back here somewhere. You should see that thing get all the way, that arm will travel all the way forward and slap. I tell my guys, say slap, okay? And what I'm telling them to slap is they're slapping the opposite. They're left-handed, they're slapping the baseball pant pocket on the right on the right side. If they're right-handed, they're slapping the left-hand pocket on their left side. So, um, you know, you need to work on slapping. That's going to get – it's basically you're telling yourself, one, to accelerate through the baseball, two, stay long through the finish, and three – the third thing that you're doing, okay, in slapping is that you're 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 t letting the natural deacceleration process of that arm happen, as opposed to hitting the brakes. It's like a speeding car. Cars are driving fast on the freeway, and you keep hitting the brakes. You keep hitting the brakes, driving 75 miles an hour. Eventually, those brakes are going to break down. All right, and you're going to have to go get new brakes. Well, the arm is the same same way. You get to this point right here that I stopped it. That hand needs to continue. That arm needs to continue to travel, okay, to behind, behind your behind your body right here, and just slap on the backside, okay. And as you can see, we, we get there right there, and then let's take it away. That's a big no no. That's going to lead the arm injury down the end. You're going to blow that shoulder out. So that is probably the most important thing you need to you really need to work on changing. And again, a lot of dry work. You can do dry mechanics and just have that loose that nice loose arm and let that thing get all the way to your your stomach and where that hand can come back around and slap the back side of your uh, your pocket there on your on your baseball pants so Jack I wanna I wanna thank you for coming to camp I hope that you learned you learned a little bit here today and and you'll be able to make some adjustments to to make you a better pitcher